Welcome to lesson 20. This is module 6 of first grade. Get your name on here first, please. And as we go on, we're back to working with coins. And we're identifying coins, fronts and backs. So some of these are the back sides and some of these are the front. We have a penny, we have penny, nickel, and dime. And without the colors, it's sometimes it's a little bit tricky to recognize the penny, but Abe Lincoln is usually pretty easy to recognize and to remember that he's on the penny. And then looking at these, the size a lot of times will help you that, that the dime is the smallest one. That's usually how people remember it. And the nickel, you've got Thomas Jefferson. Notice Lincoln is looking that way and the other two guys here, Roosevelt is going this way and so is Jefferson. And the nickel is a larger coin, even though the dime is worth more. Now here, the penny, we're looking for the Lincoln Memorial. And it says on it, one cent, right there. And the nickel says five cents on it, right there. Hard to see, but you got to zoom in to see it, but you can find it. There's nickel. So if you remember what they're worth, you can always read that and find out. And then the dime actually says one dime right on it. There it is. Cross off some pennies so the remaining pennies show the value of the coin to their left. So here's it. This is a dime. It's worth 10 cents. And that's 10 pennies. So I've got to cross off some pennies to sh so the rest of them will show 10 cents. Well, how many pennies do I have here? I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is not a 10 frame. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I have too many. I have 12 cents here and I only need 10. So I'm going to get rid of 2 cents. I'll get rid of 2 pennies there. And this nickel. Nickels are 5 cents. So you want to have just 5 of these pennies. These are all pennies. Front and back. So I need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'm going to get rid of all the others. Maria has five cents in her pocket. Draw coins to show two different ways she could have five cents. Now let's see, you could do it with uh, five pennies, right? Well, we just looked at that, right? Because we that was the last thing that we just did. We had a nickel for five cents and we had five pennies for five cents. So there's our two ways right there. So here I'm going to go. And this is how we draw the coins, just like that. Don't try to draw Thomas Jefferson's head, his profile, or the, or his, his house, or the Lincoln Memorial on the back of the penny. We just draw circles and we write the values like this. So we need five of these pennies, five one cents. And now draw a line to match the number sentence with the coin or coins that give the answer. All right, so... We want 10 cents plus 10 cents equals, so here we have, we're looking for 10 cents plus 10 cents. What's 10 plus 10? It's 20. And here's two tens right here, the two dimes. So I'll match that up. And here we have 10 cents minus 5 cents. So what's 10 minus 5? It's 5. So I just need to find one of these that's 5 cents. Well, the dime here is 10. That's a penny. That's one. The nickel's five. So that one will match up. 20 cents minus 10 cents. That's 20 minus 10, which is 10. So 10 cents is left. So that I'm looking for a dime here. There we go. And then 9 cents minus 8 cents. That's 9 minus 8. One, I'm just looking for the penny. And there's the back of the penny right there. 